Since we have a profile page, we need to have a settings page for users to customize their profile and adjust any settings to their email and password. I'm gonna go ahead and design this for us and explain the design afterwards. Okay, so with the design complete, we have three different groups, edit profile info, update email, and update password. Each of these form elements are in a group that have the style card. The group has a type of content of user and a data source of the current user. By setting the data source to current user, we're telling the settings page to only show information of that current user. And just like we've done in the past, the input fields will then have the parent group's user referring to the current user, as that's how Bubble handles parent-child relationships. We also have a picture uploader, which will allow us to change our profile picture automatically. The next group we have set up is a way for the user to update their email address. We have one input field for their new email and another input field for their current password. We'll click on the change email button and start a workflow. Go into account and hit update the user's credentials. Update the user's credentials works in both ways for updating the email and the password, but no matter what, you have to capture the old password. For updating our email, we'll click change email which will ask for the new email's input value. Once we do that, we've programmed in the workflow for the user to change the email, so now we'll do the same for the password. We'll go to account, update the user's credentials, fill out the old password, click on change password, get the new password, and then we'll make sure to get confirmation of this password and get the confirmation fields value as well. And then for both workflows, we'll make sure to reset any relevant inputs to clear any data after the user submits. And with those workflows complete, we've set up the start of our settings page. So now when we view our profile as a logged in user, we can see our settings for that user's account and we can update the email and password. To demonstrate this, I'll change the email of my user account and in the data tab, we'll refresh and see my user email reflect the changes. In the next lesson, we'll set up the edit profile group using auto binding and privacy rules to update our data.